Hey YouTube, welcome back. So, you should never go to these places. You're gonna find out why soon. Let's start the the video. Amusement parks aren't supposed. To and also, thank you for ten subscribers. To be creepy. After all, the whole point is to have a fun experience and enjoy yourself. What happens after they shut down? Well, it gets creepy. From broken rides to busted locks, people love to visit abandoned amusement parks, so today we're looking at the scariest. Wait, no, wrong image. Scariest. If we could get 5,000 likes on this video, wow, we'll go wow, visit our wow. own abandoned amusement park. Anyways, let's get right into wow, it. I got 100k likes. Number 5, Dottie oh, Park. Man. Old theme parks are seriously creepy, so it makes sense that the older they are, the more frightening they become. Duh. We're starting this list with the first Duh. and oldest theme park in all of Europe, which, if I'm right, should be the scariest of all. This theme park was created by a local priest in 1950 to give Daddy Belgian park. children a safe place to play. Park it was actually up. pretty popular at first and drew in a crowd of 1 million in its first year, which is huge for the time period. There were all sorts of slides, Damn. carousels, and bumper cars, as well as huge swings, but the main attraction was actually the bridge. Sounds weird, I know, but at the time, the 800 meter long path was the longest suspended walkway in Europe, so it was a pretty big deal. Everything was fine for decades, but as the equipment got older, things got more and more dangerous. Everything came to an awful halt when in 2000, 50 years after the park's opening, a 9-year-old boy had his arm ripped off by one of the spinning jet rides. After that, the place was shut down and never successfully reopened, and the ride stayed there abandoned until it was even too dangerous for urban explorers to go there, and the place was demolished permanently. Number 4. Six Flags New Orleans demolished permanently. Number 4, Six wow. Flags New Orleans. Like I've said already, most of the abandoned theme parks on this list are scary because they're so old and no one has dared to ride the rides for decades. However, this one is so recent that some of you watching this might have even been there, and if you have, let us know in the comments. I'm talking about Six Flags New Orleans, which was once part of a huge chain Damn. of popular theme parks, but was destroyed in 2005 Why? when Hurricane Katrina struck the area. Oh, no. I mean, it's over 10 years later now, and many homes and even neighborhoods haven't recovered from the flooding, so mm. it makes sense that fixing up a theme park wouldn't be at the top of their list. Still, leaving the park there abandoned has created some pretty creepy scenes, as well as some downright dangerous ones. So this is why once it gets abandoned, once it shuts down, immediately tear it down. Alligators now swim through the dirty swimming pools and flooded attractions, and the colorful show buildings are rotting and filled with debris on the inside. Aside from the graffiti, the play seems totally empty and hollow, but the slides and roller coasters are still standing as if someone might ride them again one day. Number 3, Lake Shawnee. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, if I were you, I'd take this next story with a pinch of salt, because it sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. After all the research I've done, I don't know how much of this is real, but either way, the abandoned park rides are creepy all by themselves. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park was built in the 1920s, after a businessman bought the land from an early settler family. Little did he know, not only was the site a Native American burial ground, but it was also the spot where the old settlers had murdered their children. Obviously, that's not a great place for a theme park, and it didn't take long for other people to agree, since accident after accident happened at the site. One mother left her son at the park and returned to see him drown in the pool, and another girl died on the swings when a van reversed into her. After that, the place shut down for years, and when it was reopened under new management, guests reported seeing a toddler dripping wet among the trees and a little girl in a pink dress crying. I'm not saying any of this is true, but it does earn Lake Shawnee a place on this list, since anywhere with this many stories must have a seriously creepy vibe. Number 2, Takakano Numa. So I'm guessing some of you watching this list are planning on visiting these spots for yourselves, but as far as this next one goes, you're gonna have a tough time. Takakano Numa, Greenland, is a widely known part of Japan's history, but as far as the exact location goes, the government have done a pretty good job of keeping info under wraps. Even if you do manage to find the coordinates, going there might not be the best idea. Not only is the park in the Fukushima province, but the park itself is a death trap, full of rusting tracks, ride cars, and exposed metal that could be deadly in the dark. Not only that, but the place is constantly foggy, making it easy to lose your way between the ferris wheels and roller coasters. 
It also has a pretty terrifying story attached to it about a British tourist who apparently snuck in years after the demolition date. He took a ton of pictures of the rides, the show buildings, and even the snack vendors, but when he got home, all the pictures had been mysteriously deleted. Only one remained, showing the gateway into the park covered in fog, but if you find the picture zooming in, we'll give you a whole other side of the story. Okay, here's our first honorable mention. It's kind of hard to make a place called Joyland scary. I mean, the name itself is about as happy and non-threatening as it gets. If you were to go there now, you'd have a hard time finding anything that inspired that name. There's no creepy mystery here and no accidental deaths due to the rides. The story's simple. The park opened in 1949 and ran until 2003. But as more and more people flock to the bigger and more well-known parks, Joyland made less and less money. Eventually, it just had to close, and even the townspeople around it didn't have the heart to try and bring it back. Go there now, and it's a pretty interesting look into the past. Reels of tickets lay on the floor with abandoned vintage roller skates, and there are all sorts of old-timey stalls and games to play, like skee-ball and knock out the stars. There's even a huge wooden roller coaster that's one of the last of its kind, although looking at the state it's in, I wouldn't expect it to last much longer. Our second honorable mention. I know the goal of this list is to show you some truly scary abandoned theme parks, but the pictures we have of this one are actually more beautiful than frightening. The story of Nara Dreamland in Japan is actually pretty interesting, since it was originally supposed to be Japan's version of Disney. Walt Disney even consulted on the park, and there were plans to integrate some famous Disney characters into the rides. In the end though, the two park makers just couldn't agree, and Dreamland ended up a successful park that was eventually destroyed by people's interest in the famous mouse. Now it sits abandoned, but the trees and plants growing over the pastel rides and roller coasters actually look pretty awesome. In fact, the teacup ride, which isn't really cool unless you're 5 years old or younger, looks better now than it ever did before if you ask me. Number 1. Gulliver's Kingdom what do you get when you combine a creepy concept for a theme park, a location next to some of the country's biggest atrocities, and a couple of years of bad financial decisions? Turns out you get an abandoned theme park that's guaranteed to haunt your dreams for months. This park is inspired by the book Gulliver's Travels, which is already a weird story about a human landing on an island with a bunch of tiny people. The park made that concept even creepier by building a giant model man and showing him being tied to the ground by the mini civilization. The park is right next to Japan's famous suicide forest, so it's maybe not surprising that families didn't think it was a place to take their kids, but hey, at least Logan Paul's a huge fan of the park. <laughs> because of that, or maybe because the park's also next to the base of a famous cult who killed 13 people in a nerve gas attack, the park just didn't make much money, leaving it to rot. Now all that remains are some creepy candy-colored buildings and shaky-looking rides, as well as a giant man staring out into the park as he's tied to the ground. It's a nightmare. But that about wraps up our list of the five- Once something gets abandoned, if you're not going to open it back.